Around 50 miles from Edinburgh, on the English side of the Scottish border, lies the site of Geffrin, the palace of the Dark Age kings of Northumbria, and a place that has a history going back thousands of years before that. Ancient people created henges on both sides of the river. Then, perhaps 5,000 years ago, one small henge on the plateau became a place for human burial, and a large standing stone was raised nearby. In the Iron Age, around 2,500 years ago, the neighbouring hilltop was enclosed with a large stone wall and some kind of settlement was established within the perimeter. Over time, the sacred area on the plateau below developed and became the focus of the site. Then, at the end of the Roman period, the royal palace complex evolved here. It's hard to put a time frame on the palace as no dating evidence has been found but at least four great halls were built, one after the other, and the earliest could date from as far back as the 400s. The mown grass and white pegs mark out the location of the great halls. These great halls were large barn-like structures used for the extravagant feasts of the local lord or king throughout the so-called Dark Ages and were the centre of their authority. This is a stripped-down reconstruction of what the great hall may have looked like, but it could well have been far more elaborate. The palace seems to have been at its height around the end of the 500s and into the first half of the 600s, but it was burnt to the ground at least twice, possibly during fighting in the 630s and again in the 650s. From that point on, the complex seems to have shrunk and a new palace was built around three miles away at Mailmin. Geffrin is a particularly significant site because of its sacred location once at the heart of the ancient British Kingdom of Northumbria, its length of occupation and its complexity. There are also remarkable features hidden beneath the surface which speak of the importance in which it was once held. The later Great Halls are larger than seems to have been the norm, with one being 85 feet or 26 metres long. And there was a huge enclosure on one side of the Great Hall and a massive grandstand complete with stage and totem pole on the other. The scale and grand concept of its design make this rare and important site stand out. Look out for our next films about other elements of the Geffrin site.